Hey, hi everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here with another haul video. I think this is take three. Um, the first one, I didn't like the way that it was going. The second one wound up being way too long, because I only get fifteen min less than 15 minutes total to get stuff up. And then there's this one. So, I found my purple background, but it's all bent out of shape, and I don't understand why. So... Hmm. Okay, so let's get into this haul video from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now, um, I lost my invoice for this, my packing slip, so I'm going to try to remember all the prices, but I might be off. Don't quote me on them. I'm not going to have any links down below. Go to the SMS dot or the scrapbooking made simple dot com site because SMS won't get it to you. But scrapbooking made simple, all one word, all lowercase, scrapbooking made simple dot com. You can find these prices. Okay, so first let's start with the specialty plates. I only got the simply defined for the month of July. Oh my gosh, I ordered this at the end of July, guys. It was like July 26th or 28th. You'd have to check the title because I'll put down the right date there, okay? And I got it by August 22nd. It was just like, oh my God, that's like one month. It's not even a month. It's incredible. It's not even a month. Not even one month. Yay! She's changed her computer system. So apparently it's making it a little more efficient for them. Now, I do have a big backlog of orders behind it, so we'll have to see what happens. Oh, the background music is from my, my um, Scanner Plus app for my, my um, iPhone, because I guess it only works on, on iPhones. I can't get it for my laptop, and... Um, yeah, it's the 40s channel, so you don't need to listen to old radio shows. You get to listen to old music and stuff. Okay, so back to what I got. All right, so the first thing I got was this Damask, okay? It's a Damask, and I'll get this to focus on those numbers for you. Okay, there you can see the number, or the, the SKU number and the name. And she said it was two dies, and she's right. It is two dies, but it's a pack of two. It didn't say two dies. It's a pack of two. And if I remember correctly, this one was having trouble uploading or something. It was a little bit late. So, if you upload just... Let's see if I can get this to work out for me. Yeah, if you upload. If you cut out just this big center part... Okay, just the big metal die. This is what you get. It doesn't cut out the paper. It cuts out the pattern within the paper. And then, I don't know if you can see it or not, but some of these bigger areas and actually some of the smaller areas, there's no cutting blade, which means that you're supposed to be able to emboss it. I grabbed this for my embossing plate, and look what it did. It cut through this really bad so don't try to skimp on your cutting mat or your your squishy and your knock knock really guys get a squishy and a knock knock but what I did do to show you guys um, what the embossing would look like all those orange spaces once embossed will end up standing out a little bit Okay, and those would be embossed and popped out. Now, some of them, I think, are just the holes for pushing through to get your stuff out or to release the paper. But those bigger ones, for sure, are embossed. And then, and then, another really cool, exciting part of the whole thing. And I saw these and I was like, oh yes, I must get. I could not pass. Okay, well, the July package was called Nothing to be Afraid of, and this is the Spooky Elephant. There's your SKU number. All right, so 
You might look at this and think, oh, that's kind of, uh. okay, but here it is. This is each one of the letters with them cut out. So you might, so you got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Well, that, not that way on here. It's A, uh, well, it, it starts A, B, C, D, E, and F, and then it works its way through, and Y's down here, and S is up here, and it's kind of screwy. Okay. But this is the way that it comes. And then you get these extra little cutouts, too. All right. The spider is an extra little cutout. And I'll tell you this right now. This spider is inside of the G. So when you pull up your G, don't freak out because this part stays behind. I totally freaked out. I decided I was going to write my name for y'all. And I popped out my G plate. And it was like, oh my God, why is this not coming up? I just busted it. No, don't worry about it. It's not broken. It's a separate die. Okay, so you can see G. I think I did the I upside down. G-I-N-G-E-R. Okay, ginger. What I did was I cut this part first. Yes, there's a line there. And then there's another line here. I didn't have a pencil. I used a pen. And then I laid my ruler, where did I put my ruler? I laid my ruler on there and then lined them up straight on my with my ruler and then ran them through. And then when they got all done, I took off the G and I lined the G up. You can see it kind of scooted over. And then I took off everything else and ran it back through again. The reason I took everything else off is because... I didn't want to accidentally cut out my spider webs. Okay, and if you have any questions as to which way the letters go, you can just look on the back. I'm pretty sure I have my eye upside down. No, I do not have my eye upside down. Wait, yes I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. My eye has the spider web on the right side. And their eye has a spider web on the right side. So that is the way that the eye is supposed to go. Okay? But that's not all you get. I got to show you this. And I did it this way because I thought about cutting out letters and I thought, well, that'd be kind of boring. And I'll talk about those here in a second. What you get are you get frames. Okay, and the frames that you get, fact, this is a whole different video, so I'll pull those aside. Okay, what you get is a square one, which you see on the back, all right, and that's just big enough to cut out just that letter, all right, so it cuts out just that letter. Or you can get this one, which looks kind of like a tombstone. Let me get the black back up here so you have something to see the reference uh, against. It looks kind of like a tombstone with the spider webs. And I accidentally cut off the top, but it just, it just completes up and around. Okay. And this is what the negative of those ones look like when you cut them through. So you can see I accidentally cut that off. All right, but just so that you have some sort of an idea. Okay, so that's the spooky alphabet. And then, and then, she said this was the first time that she ever did a Halloween one, and it will be probably be the last time she does a Halloween one. She likes Halloween. She just doesn't like spooky Halloween. I like spooky Halloween. I don't like horror Halloween. Okay. You know, Friday the 13th things just aren't my my cup of tea at all. I'm more black cats and witches. Okay, so this is nothing to be afraid of. If you go into the woods tonight, there's your skew number. This one comes with a boy and a girl. Okay. And yes, this is in the right way. These are the trees here. And you can see you've got an owl, and I'm not sure what else you get in here as a cutout. Okay, this is the way that it goes, but you can, if you don't want the boys and girl, you don't have to have the boy and girl. If you don't want the owl, you don't have to have the owl. 
I think that bat is separate too, if I remember correctly. Yes, the bat is separate. If you don't want the bat, you don't have to have the bat. If you're a Wizard of Oz fan like I am, these trees are primo. Okay. Then there is this one. Let's see if I can't get this to work. Nothing to be afraid of. Gothic butterfly. Now, this just came with the I Want It All bundle, but I have a daughter who is practically in love with butterflies. So, um, I'm sure I'll find a use for this. Then, I got... In the I Want It All bundle, Lady of the Forest. Here's your skew. All right. And she is pretty. She reminds me a lot of my icon for my Facebook page. And no, if you find me on Facebook and I don't know who you are, I will not add you as a friend. So don't even request it. Um, I'm, I'm very touchy with who I add as a friend on Facebook. Twitter I might let you on, though. Okay. Let's see. This one is um, a trick-or-treat. This one's cute. Now, this one is another one that has embossing features. All right, but you don't have to emboss them if you want. I would cut this all out in black and then put it against a colored background. So I wouldn't even bother to emboss because it's not going to show up the best on the black paper anyways. But, um, yeah, I thought that would be really cute in black on a spooky colored background. And then, let's see what else there is. There is, the trees have eyes. All right. And there's this one. Come on, focus. Okay, there's supposed to be a spooky face in there. I'm thinking it's probably here. But I can't be sure because I have a, a tendency of, of uh, oh, what do they call that? Automorphizing stuff anyways. And you can see there's some words in there. But they're not showing up on here. I think those are words. They look like words to me. I may have to cut some of them out just to make sure. So, um, yeah. Actually, no, I take that back. I think this is all one big thing. I don't think there's separate stamps in that one. And then, the Feast of Resistance, the very last one, is Smiling Jack. Oh my gosh, guys, this one is totally awesome. And this one, I do not believe you have to emboss to enjoy. I think this is just a cut and go. Look. It's a giant pumpkin. It's a giant jack-o'-lantern, guys. And you cut out the, the frame, not the frame, but the overlay. Okay, and then if I remember correctly, there is a separate die that cuts out a second edge for the background. And voila, you have a rather spooky pumpkin. I think he is cool. I really do. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. Um, this one has an outer frame to it. If you want to cut out this damask uh, feature, all right, I would suggest you cut this out, then place the frame over it, and you stupid vacuum cleaner, go away. And uh, go with it that way. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I'm really close. I'm hoping this will upload, and it's getting very loud. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.